Oh, boogie right. man Ben coming round the band is Boogie Man Ben. Is Boogie Man Ben. Greetings, my fellow Fright Fiends. It's your buddy Boogie Man Ben here for another episode of Boogie Man Ben's Horror Zone. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Um, I uh, just to give everybody a little context. I am really sick right now. Um, I got the dreaded Rona. Caught it this past weekend. Um, I've been laid up ever since. Um, it's been. Something I avoided for almost three years, but uh, unfortunately it caught up with me. Um, so during this downtime where I'm I'm kind of taking a little break from work, uh, you know, just uh, I worked a few days, but I've just been really drained. Um, not a lot of energy. So I've been watching a lot of movies, and if you've been following me on Instagram, I've been posting about these movies that I've watched. I've watched several that I wanted to watch, like Fall. I watched uh, Wednesday, the Adams Family television series that Tim Burton did with Jenna Ortega. A Hustle with Adam Sandler. I just recently watched uh, On the Line with Mel Gibson. But I watched one movie that has completely captivated me, and it's one that I saw a trailer for at the beginning of this year. It was at the Tribeca Film Festival um, late last year. It's directed by Paul Sollett, who a lot of people would probably know from Jack Chop, uh, the Adam Green uh, Halloween short. It's Nicola with the Jack Chop. You're going to be in a great mood all day. He's going to be jacking your fucking pumpkins away with the Jack Chop. Fuck it. Um, but he's also a, a fantastic director who's directed movies like Grace, uh, Bullethead. Um, and uh, he and Adrian Brody uh, co-wrote this film. Adrian Brody produced as well as did uh, the original music and score for the film. The movie is called Clean. Tormented by his past, a garbage man named Clean attempts a quiet life of redemption, but soon finds himself forced to reconcile with the violence of his past. Movie stars Adrian Brody as Clean, Glenn Fleischer as Michael, Richie Merritt as Mikey, Chandler DuPont as Deanda, Michael T. Williamson as Travis, Michelle Wilson as Ethel, and, and Riza as Pawn Shop Curtis. Movie was written by Paul Sollett and Adrian Brody and directed by Paul Sollett. Uh, trivia on the film, uh, the one of the main inspirations for the story came from the 1976 film Taxi Driver. Uh, original music and score was done by Adrian Brody, who was also a uh, lead actor and producer on the film. The film premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival on June 19, 2021. On September 1st of 2021, it was announced that IFC Films acquired North American distribution rights to the film. It was released in theaters on January 28th of this year. In April of this year, IFC Films signed an output deal with AMC+. Plus. The film was released on the streaming service on May 6th of 2022. Oh, um, as I've stated in some of my recent videos, specifically focusing on a lot of the actors from Salem's Lot, uh, where I'm doing my uh, quiet little tribute to Salem's Lot series, um, like when I talked about Ed Flanders, which was the last one I did, I, I miss... I talk about missing uh, just naturalistic actors. I miss storytelling. Uh, I just feel like we've lost that. That's been lost in translation and a lot of the stuff that Hollywood is putting out and a lot of films that are that are big at the box office, they're more about spectacle than about acting. And uh, I really long for storytelling. I really long for those films that I grew up with that I identified with. I mean, one of my favorite films as a kid was Psycho 2, and that was because such a poignant illustration of what somebody with a mental illness who's been locked up for two decades would go through when they were thrust back into society. You know, you put aside the violent scenes in the film, you know, when there is the horror aspect of Psycho 2, but it really is a character study of what someone with a mental illness would do if they had been, you know, locked away for most of their lives coming back into a society that they don't understand. And I think that's why I really understood that film so well and was so fascinated by um, Anthony Perkins' brilliant portrayal in that film. Um, where I'm going with this is that Clean is just a film that really just knocked my socks off. I saw the trailer earlier this year, like I stated, and I just didn't have the opportunity to seek it out. And then I just, it popped back into my head when I was, you know, um, sort of laid up this week. And I said, you know, I really want to watch that movie. I've watched it four times. Um, and I can't tell you just how amazing this film is. And I've seen so many negative reviews on it, and I don't get them. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes currently has it at a 46%. Um, and, uh, you know, on IMDb, it's, it's got a 5.6%. And... I really don't understand. A lot of people are saying it's slow. Um, it takes too long to get going. Uh, that the third act is the part that you know people like. And and again, I really don't think people understand storytelling, and that's what frustrates me about 
talking about this film because these are the films that I long for. This is the kind of film that I miss. And being able to watch this, and like I said, four times I've watched it, it's blown me away every time I watch it. Um, Adrian Brody is somebody I've always respected. Um, I remember seeing him in like Summer of Sam. He was in The Pianist, of course, which he won a Best Actor for. Um, I've seen him in countless other films that I've been blown away. I thought Bullethead was good. I loved him in King Kong. Uh, more recently, I thought he was great in Chappawait, um, the adaption of Stephen King's Jerusalem's Lot. Um, I've always liked him as an actor. We actually have the same birthday. He's a year older than me, so we were both born on April 14th. Um, but uh, I loved him as this character. Um, he has a quiet torment, and you can see it, and he doesn't have to say a lot. You just see it in, in terms of his actions and what he does to keep his mind clear um, and to sort of decompress and, and sort of abstain for what he's done in his past. Um, he's just... A character you're compelled by as soon as you meet him not only is his acting superb but the fact that he produced the score and the original music for the film i want to buy the soundtrack and it doesn't exist the music in this is so amazing uh from the quieter moments of the score to a lot of the uh hip-hop music that is used it, it just all flows so perfectly it's fluid it just is amazing and the main antagonist in this glenn fleischer as michael who is the adversary um in this is so haunting and so well done as an antagonist and it's so compelling um in terms of like you know when their paths finally cross and uh just sort of how they sort of stand their own ground and um the conversation which is very brief but it's about what their body language says instead of how what they say to each other just so well done i really don't want to give too much about this movie away but like i said this is a movie that i've been longing for um i've seen a lot of great films this year a lot of great films that have just been you know some of my favorites but this is probably my favorite movie of the year. I, I don't know why. Uh, it just spoke to me. Um, I've had my own torments in the past. And just the way that, you know, Adrian Brody played this character, there was just something that I identified with. And it, and it just hits all the emotions. It's just one of those films that hits all the emotions for me. It's, it's, it's heartbreaking. It's thrilling. It's violent. Um, the cast is fantastic in their roles. Uh, nobody was weak in this film. And, um, like I said, it's the quieter moments that I think establish these characters so much better than if there was like a lot of dialogue. It just w less is more in this film. Um, but when it gets violent, it gets violent and it's no holds barred. I think it's some of the best action scenes I've seen in a while. And, um, yeah, Adrian Brody's a beast in this film. Um, him and Paul Sollett really hit it out of the park. Like I said, I've seen other Paul Sollett movies. This is his masterpiece. More people should be talking about this film. But like I'm saying, I just wanted to do this. I really didn't want to record a video while I'm feeling so under the weather, but I can't stop thinking about this film. I can't stop watching this film. I can't stop listening to this music. Um, it hit all, it hit everything for me. It's out of the park. I recommend everybody checking out this film. If you have, um, if you have Amazon Prime, you can watch it for free. It's on Amazon Prime. That's how I watched it. I ended up buying it off iTunes. I will buy the Blu-ray as well. I love this film, uh, Clean, my favorite film of 2022, absolutely, hands down. If I could give it a six, I would, but I am giving it a very high five skulls. So that is my review of Clean. I don't know if anybody else has seen this film or is aware of this film. If you're a fan of Adrian Brody, if you're a fan of Paul Sollett, I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. Um, it's really inspired me to come back and do video content because I've really been just sort of done with, you know, all of the negativity and the hate and all the people bashing people that like the Halloween ends and just the, the horrible horrible content that I've been seeing from people where people are just being mean. I'm tired of it. Um, I needed something to inspire me to come back and do a video. And I'm, fortunately, I'm under the weather, but this is what did it. I'm grateful for this film. I hope other people will check it out. And it just, it really just made me so happy watching it. And the 
it just was a perfect film for me. So I hope everyone will give it a chance and watch it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And thanks so much again for stopping by the Horror Zone channel. And I'll talk to you again real soon. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Hey fellow Fright Fiends, just want to say thank you again for supporting Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. If you're brand new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so you're updated every time I drop a new video. I typically do this once or twice a week with new content. Uh, I've been doing this for over 11 years and the horror genre is a passion of mine. And it really means a lot to me that I can share that passion with all of you guys. Thanks so much again for the support and I'll talk to you again later. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Peace.